I do. They'd tried to ban the media from this meeting, but they failed. Inside the council at the centre of the Grenfell Tower fire, we found chaos and disorder. You keep telling you're taking advice, you're taking the wrong advice. The problem you are not facing up to your own residents or even your own councillor. And those in charge refusing an opportunity for open discussion. The leader of Kensington and Chelsea said it would prejudice the public inquiry. He read a prepared statement, then cancelled the meeting, leaving anger and accusations of a cover-up. Well, it's going to be a cover-up. You're going to see the tower come down. They're never going to tell us who's dead. They're never going to give us numbers. They're never going to tell us who was responsible for signing the paper for that cladding for the gas pipes to be outside. They're never going to tell us. We'll be allowed in as a member of the public. Until we receive brief. further instruction. No, but you're having those yeah. instructions. I'm afraid you're being told. I met local residents refused entry because of fears of public disorder. If yet again, this council gone and locked themselves behind closed doors. They've been absent from our communities again and again and again. They're not accountable. They actually feel they have no responsibility. They've completely abandoned this community. There is confusion whether there were legal grounds to cut short the meeting. The other issue is that they, that they cited was this idea of prejudicing the public inquiry. Well, firstly, you can't prejudice a judge. This is a judge-led inquiry. There's nothing they are they could possibly say that would influence the judge that is uh, conducting this inquiry. At the start of the public inquiry, there is a growing pressure on the council. Tonight's not open uh, to the public, but I will issue a statement shortly after the meeting, which will explain what we're doing, and I hope the council can be seen to be active, proactive, working with very vulnerable people and um, that's what I should be trying to explain. The council's lack of transparency has done little to counter the concerns of residents. They feel left out and let down by a council they say isn't listening. Laura Bundock, Sky News.